The Zen is a collagen gel implant that comes preloaded in a disposable injector and it is inserted ab internal through a cornea incision and does not require conjunctival peritomy. And that is perhaps the most unique feature of the Zen implant. And after insertion into the superior nasal quadrant of the eye, it then drains aqueous from the anterior chamber to the subconjunctival space. The Zen Expert Principles are a set of guideline principles that are developed in collaboration with experienced Zen surgeons to highlight the important elements of Zen implantation. And they are designed to help new as well as current Zen users to obtain consistent good surgical outcomes and to get the best possible uh, experience from the Zen implant. So the Zen EP is based on the principles of controlling inflammation, of lowering the subconjunctival outflow resistance and minimizing bleeding. It covers all aspects of Zen implantation, including preoperative preparations and also intraoperative placement of the implant, priming the device to ensure good flow through the device at the end of the surgery and also postoperative management. Uh, so the surgeons are Ike Ahmed and also Ingeberg Stalmans and Herbert Wright Zimers. So these are some of the earliest and most experienced Zen users and their insights into Zen implantation are extremely valuable. So these insights are actually quite practical and they have affirmed some of my clinical practices. This include, for example, controlling the conjunctival inflammation before the surgery, which might require steroid eye drops or um, it might require also stopping the topical glaucoma medications and prescribing oral diamox for a few weeks if there are no contraindications. And this principle is especially important for Asian patients such as mine who are more prone to conjunctival scarring um, compared to Caucasian patients. And other insights also include ensuring that the Zen implant is free and mobile after insertion. And I have always noticed that the, an immobile Zen implant is associated with poorer surgical outcomes. And my practice is to perform primary needling if the implant is immobile or if it's curled up. And I'm very pleased to note that my um, clinical practice is actually consistent with the recommendations of the Zen EP.